Ah, there it is. The RBC Heritage is underway. Heritage Week going crazy on the island, even in a bit limited form. We at least have fans this year, 20% capacity as opposed to none last June. Maybe we'll get back to the full boat come uh, 2022. We do not have uh, quite the field we had a year ago when it was just the second event back. There's no Ricky or Rory or Justin or Jason, uh, but we've got Will Zalatoris here from the Masters who made a big name for himself. We've got local flavor. You're going to hear from Bryson Nimmer a little later on. And we've got a guy who <laughs> is golf right now in, in the low country and statewide, uh, Dwayne Parrish. He is the, of course, director of the state tourism department, park department, recreation department, all that good stuff. A and I hope you love golf because, boy, you have sunk your teeth into a whole lot of golf this year with three events, one, two, three, beginning with this one that, that I know is special to you. It's very special to me to be able to, you know, our longest running sports event in, in South Carolina, our largest in terms of economic impact and number of fans on an annual basis. But this year is really special in 2021 because we start out what I call the triple crown this quarter. Yeah. And so we have the RBC Heritage starting this week, the PGA Championship in May, followed by the Palmetto Championship at Congaree in June, all nationally broadcast by CBS. And so we're excited about them just sort of showcasing what we mean, what we are and how much how much golf we really have to yeah. offer in South Carolina to the rest of the country. Here on WHHI, we're of course focused on, on how important things are to the people here on the island. We know how important golf and this tournament are on the island. How important is it to the whole state? Golf's very important to the state. You know, certainly from a tourism standpoint, it is the largest niche within our tourism industry. It accounts for about $3 billion in economic impact wow. for South Carolina. We want to make that $4 billion. And we hope, we hope that this uh, Triple Crown I mentioned will make, will make that happen. Hey, you've been able to come down for the tournament before. I have. Uh, give me a tournament story. So, <laughs> well, you know, it's a lot of fun. In the, in the first year of the tournament, 2011, there wasn't a sponsor that year. Yeah. And I actually played in the uh, Pro-Am that year. Right. And I played with Steve Spurrier, who was one of my, you know, as a Gamecock fan, sure. one of my sort of heroes, if you will. I had a chance to play golf with him, and I realized just how competitive he is. If I didn't hit a putt where he told me to hit it, he would let me know about it. I saw the coach come out in him during that time period. But what a lot of fun. It was sure. my first sort of really introduction as a PRT director of the heritage and how important it is and what it means to people, not only here, but to, it's important to Charleston and Myrtle Beach and the rest of the coast because mm -hmm. to the person in Columbus, Ohio watching golf, it's South Carolina golf. And so, you know, it's, it's a, it means a lot to all of our state. And you jumped right in when there was an opening before the U.S. Open and said, hey, we'll do another one. And, and the to. state is really kind of the sponsor of that event, uh, the Palmetto Championship at Congaree. Tell us a story about how, how that happened. Sure. Well, Congaree was uh, making a bid to, to yeah. host the President's Cup. Right. And uh, while that didn't work out, they were certainly there in, waiting in the wings, if you will, when the RBC Canadian Open was canceled. It gave them a chance to sort of, okay, we'd love to host that event. Well, the next question was, how do they find a title sponsor so quickly? And so they came to the state. Um, the governor was all in, and thank credit to the governor, and the legislature was all behind it as well. We were able to put it together pretty quickly, and, and really from start to finish, they're going make, make to ha make this happen in less than 90 days, which is a phenomenal Kudos to the PGA Tour and the Congaree for being able to make this happen. It really is. You're going to get to see a whole lot of golf here in South Carolina in the next couple of months. Dwayne, thank you so much. Congratulations on, on being the honorary chairman and enjoy that plaid jacket. <laughs> Looks good on you. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it very much. All right. We've got a whole lot more coming up as we continue right here on the Hilton Head News on WHHI.